hear you talk all the time to your patients and, mm -hmm. and the doctors you teach across the country mm -hmm. that vitamin D deficiency is epidemic, it is. especially in women. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, there's a couple reasons why. Um, is because, first of all, the whole sun scare. Number one, everyone's right. afraid of the sun. And, you know, for people listening that don't realize this, um, you make the majority of your usable vitamin D by being in the sun. Uh, just to give you an idea of how much you make, in a two hours of sun, you make about 10,000 units. Imagine wow. trying to get that much in your diet. One eight-ounce glass of milk has about 100 units in it. <laughs> um, and that's, that's not a, a usable form, uh, as usable form as well. It's called vitamin D2. Uh, the usable form is vitamin D3, and you need to get sun. People are slathering sunscreen all over themselves. So even when they go in the sun, they're not able to convert it into vitamin D. So this has become an epidemic, and it's, becoming, it's causing problems. Wow. Wow. So vitamin D deficiency is a big problem. So what are the, what are the symptoms and side effects and the yeah. dysfunction that it well, causes? Well, first of all, it's a pro-hormone. So you, have to, you need it to make other hormones. And most women today are, are hormone deficient, uh, which makes them feel really bad. Mm -hmm. um, but also, I mean, you understand, you need vitamin D to absorb calcium. What are most people doing? They're loading up on calcium. They don't have the vitamin D to use it. Wow. So it's actually the calcium is actually starting to cause other problems. Vitamin D right now. They're linking it to 17 different types of cancer. Vitamin D, we know right now with research, actually prevents cancer because it keeps cells that are starting to go into cancer. It actually can prevent the, the cell from becoming cancerous cell. So we know it prevents cancer. Uh, we also know that it actually helps with cancer. So guess what? We're afraid to get in the sun because of cancer, and now we actually know that we're causing it because we're actually lacking vitamin D. I can tell you, Warren, I test a lot of people, a lot of women in my clinic. I don't know that I have many, if any at all, that actually have normal levels of vitamin D. That's how become, uh, an epidemic it becomes. It needs to be supplemented. Wow, so you just put them on a, put them on a vitamin D supplement, like a really, you know, hot, what type of supplement? What's in it? What's the synergy Designs of it? Designs for Health has one of the best products on the market because it has a synergy of different types of vitamin D. Very absorbable. It works. When people start taking it, they notice things like their joint pain going mm -hmm. away. They feel better. They sleep better. Um, obviously, you know, things like bone density changes and things like that. But just on an immediate level, they feel better. And I think that's what's important to most people. That's going to help a lot of people. Thanks, Dr. Yep, Pompa. Absolutely.